Hello, this is a presentation on film, which appeared in iClear 2022. This work has achieved state-of-the-art performance on the Alfred benchmark at the time of its submission. The task is embodied instruction following, in which the agent is given two kinds of inputs and has to achieve the goal. The first kind of input is the language instruction, given in both high and low level at the beginning of the episode, and the second input is the egocentric RGB, given at every time step. Given these, the agent has to perform a sequence of actions to achieve the goal. We use the Alfred benchmark in which there are seven task types and each task consists of multiple subtasks. For example, in this task, the agent has to navigate and find a pen, pick up the pen, and achieve many other subtasks to achieve the task. An incipient attempt to address these instruction following tasks was to concatenate all visual and language input and expect that the learned neural memory, such as LSTM or transformer hidden states, will simultaneously take care of language grounding, spatial memory, exploration, and many other functions. In this work, we present a modular method with structured language and spatial representations. This method is more transparent and works better than existing methods based on unstructured neural memory. Second, our method does not necessitate expert trajectories or low-level language instructions. Instead, we replace these kinds of supervision with map and semantic search policy only and still achieve very good performance. Our method is modular and consists of four modules, the language processing, semantic mapping, semantic search policy, and the deterministic policy modules. These are activated at different timescales, with the language processing module happening at the beginning of an episode, the semantic mapping and deterministic policy at each time step, and the semantic search policy, which helps the discovery of small objects, at a coarse timescale of 25 steps. The modules in green are learned, and the deterministic policy uses the fast marching method for navigation and handwritten algorithms for interaction. The language processing module maps the given high-level instruction into a sequence of structured subtasks. It consists of two bird stop modules. The first module classifies the instruction into one of the seven types, and the second module produces the arguments, such as which object to be picked up, which is the pen in this case, and the receptacle, the object has to be, that has to be put on, the ta put on, which is the table in this example. Uh, these, are give, these are produced given both a high-level instruction and the classified output from the BERT classification. We match the classified type to a hand design template, which is unique to each of the seven types, and we additionally fill in the arguments predicted from the second BERT module to obtain the sequence of subtasks. The semantic mapping module creates a top-down map of the scene given egocentric RGB. We fine-tune depth and mask RCNN, and their predictions are mapped to the labels and obstructions of a voxel space, which is summed across height to output the map. This is film spatial memory for navigation and interaction. Our third model is the semantic search policy. This is needed because first, instructions are underspecified, and second, even though the segmentation model was fine-tuned, it still cannot recognize small objects when the field of view is large and the object is far or at certain angles. Thus, we need to make the agent travel near and repeatedly around the object of interest. The policy outputs the predicted distribution of the location of a small object given spatial configurations of large objects only. With semantic maps from the training scenes that contain only large objects, we train the policy in a supervised manner using the ground truth location of small objects as labels. Here are example outputs of the semantic search policy. In the ground truth map of this living room scene, the bowl existed on the pink side table. Given an observed map from learned depth and segmentation and of only large objects, the policy puts mass on pieces of furniture on which the bowl can appear on. Also in the bathroom scene, where the faucet existed on the sink and at the end of the bathtub scene, we see that the policy allocates more mass on the sink, but also some at the end of the bathtub basin. This policy is activated every 25 steps and we sample a location to be explored from it until the agent locates the desired object. 
Here's an example of our film agent performing a task. The longest time is taken for finding the knife, a small object, and subsequent subtasks are easily and quickly completed once the agent completes the first, since they reuse the map completed during the initial exploration. Here are results on the test scenes of Alfred. SR accounts for success rate, GC for goal condition success rate, PLW accounts for path length weighted. Film with semantic search outperforms many existing methods and generalizes well across seen and unseen rooms of the test set since it does not memorize or follow low-level instructions. In conclusion, we present a modular method of instruction following with a novel semantic search policy. Thank you.